Hi, in this video we are going to see about how to attend a programming test. So, a programming test is scheduled, generally it is scheduled for a particular period of time as well as it has got a duration. So, each test will be scheduled for a particular period of time means from this, uh, from this particular date, from this particular time the test will be available and to a particular date and to a particular time the test will be available. Okay. And duration is the total number of uh, minutes uh, that can be taken for solving the problems in a particular test. And when we look at the uh, coding test the, or we will call it as a programming test, the problems will be given by the faculty and solution has to be submitted by the students. And in a particular programming test or a code test there can be more than one problem and uh, there is an option for the students to switch between the problems. For example, if a test has got some 4 to 5 questions okay, and the students uh, when they are solving a particular problem, they feel like okay, I want to uh, switch to some other question after, uh, after solving that I will come back to this means they can save the content whatever they have done till that and then go switch between switch to some other question also that is also possible. And when you look at the programming test, there are two types of programming test possible and we propel. One is called practice test, other one is called assessment test. So, the objective of practice test is for learning and uh, students can take the help of the faculty or refer printed material or internet for solving the problem. And when we look at the nature of the test, it will be in open mode by default, whereas uh, the assessment test what we are going to see next will be in closed mode. I will show how it is different and uh, these in lab practice test what, whatever is given in the session plan those things will come under practice test and also you will have some practice problems from the common pool that also will be given for the students. Let me go into a demo login and show you. I have scheduled the test from uh, 6.35 now the time is 6.33 you will not see the test okay the test will be listed only after the time is reached uh, so i am not able to see any test here and as i told you practice test will be by default in the mode of um, open and assessment will be in the mode of closed and why when assessment test will be scheduled is when the marks are going to be considered for your uh, evaluation okay it's going to be considered for your performance right then assessment test will be given and students have to solve the problems without referring any material or without taking the help of others and these tests assessment test will be scheduled in strict strict mode why do we say this is strict mode is you are not allowed to move outside the browser if you move outside the browser then you will be logged off out, out of the portal uh, no harm if something happen accidentally you can come and re-log in but there is a chance that you may lose some time when you are frequently doing this. So, you must be very cautious that when you are doing an assessment test you should not move outside the browser ok and um, also that this assessment test will be in the um, default in closed mode and uh, faculty have to open it then only it will be available in your list. And whatever is given in the session plan as PAT that is practice assessment test or CAT continuous assessment test or FAT that is final assessment test those will be uh, scheduled as an assessment test in strict board. So, now the time is 6.35 I have scheduled a practice test as well as a uh, pra practice test as well as an assessment test. Now, you have to go to attend test and choose practice uh, programming test when I choose I am able to see the practice test I am not able to see the assessment. Why? Because uh, practice will be in open mode as I told you already and assessment will be in closed mode. So, if the faculty opens the test for the student then only it will be visible. And if you are doing more than one course you may have to choose the course here. But since this uh, particular demo student is registered under only one course uh, by default that course is uh, getting listed. And this is what is called the duration for the test 100 minutes 100 minutes to uh, can only be consumed for all the questions right. Uh, so, you should be very very careful if when you are solving the problems uh, you want to take a break ok. Uh, I will take a break and after some time I will come and continue. If you think like that then please pass the test and go if you are not passing the test the timer will be running and you may have to lose the time ok. And this is called as the period for which the test is scheduled. 
you can see here this test is scheduled uh, from September 25 6.35 pm to September 27 6.29 pm and after this you can click this take this test ok as soon as you take you will see that uh, the question is getting display here you can see number of uh, this is the title of the question number of passengers in a elevator the description of the question is given here uh, given the capacity of the elevator and average weight of a person working in a company where the lift is in installed design an algorithm and a code to determine the number of passengers who can use the elevator at a particular time ok you are given two details one is the capacity of the elevator how much uh, total weight the elevator can take other one is going to be the average weight of one person working in the company now the task is to you have to find out how many people can travel at the same time in the elevator uh, so example is also given in the problem if the capacity of the elevator is 500 and average weight of people working in the office is 6, 60 then 8 persons may use the elevator at a time this is the description of the problem and when you are working on online judges you must also see about the input format and output format which is very very important ok why because uh, if I am going to uh, if I am going to write the program by myself and I am going to test I can give the input in any order actually here there are two inputs that must be given for the problem one is going to be the capacity of the elevator other one is going to be the average weight of the person right uh, when I am writing the code I may give either capacity as the first value or average as the second value it does not matter because I know I am going to test the program so I will give in that order but now the online judge is automatically going to take the test cases is going to take the input from the uh, database right the order in which the faculty has loaded is important you must know that the first input what is coming is the capacity of the elevator the second input what will come is the average weight of a person that understanding you will get only if you read the input format so it is very very important this is common for all the online judges ok so whenever you are solving a problem in an online judge you should know the input format what the first uh, parameter in the test case what does the second value in the test case mean that understanding should be there otherwise you will end up in wrong values right similarly you should also understand the output format uh, because uh, they will communicate to you how you should print if in this case there is only one output suppose if a problem uh, is going to give multiple outputs right then how it should be printed in what order uh, it should be printed whether there should be a space or whether there should be a tab such information will be given in the output format and the online judge is going to just compare the output that is getting printed by your program and the output given by the faculty ok that is output present in the test case it is going to be just matching even if you make a mistake in the space or tab or new line character then you will be in trouble so it is very very important that you must know the input format and the output format after reading all these things now you can see that these are all the boxes available for doing your PAC PAC is already we have seen problem analysis chart ok so for this problem actually I have got two input first one is going to be the capacity of the less uh, elevator ok I can type second one is going to be the average weight of the people I can type like this ok here you can type whatever you understand and output is going to be number of persons who can travel ok and the processing involved is basically going to be division here and here if there are multiple ways to solve a problem in certain cases when you are going to solve a bigger problem uh, there may be multiple ways by which you can solve the problem if there are multiple ways then you can discuss about the alternative ways by which you can solve the problem and here algorithm you will type like step 1 step 2 what is step 1 reading the capacity of the elevator step 2 will be reading the uh, average weight of the person like that you will be writing the algorithm after this when you come below will be the code editor the black box which is coming is the code editor and the first thing you have to do is choose the language it is very very important that you have to choose the language otherwise uh, 
you will not get the help of the editor actually the editor will change color and do automatic indentation everything if you choose the language if you are not choosing the language then the editor will not know how to deal with the text what you are typing so if you cannot find any response in the editor you can check whether i have selected the language so make sure that you are choosing the language and then you start printing the uh, start, start typing the things okay so here i am going to say capacity i am going to read the capacity of the elevator and then i am going to say the weight okay average weight i am going to read that also i am going to read it as a input right after this what i am going to do is i am just going to say uh, number of persons is equal to capacity by weight and then i can print number of people who can travel this is a very simple problem after doing this what you can do is you have to click the execute button okay so when i click the execute button actually there is a failure okay because the expected output is 8 but my program output is 8.33 because i have used a true division operator i have to use a integer integer division operator right and after i do that correction i can click the execute button right now it's a successful um, uh, submission i will go back and show you after i have written the successful code you can see that uh, it will be frozen right it uh, the code will be frozen that's what we will see after you successfully submit the code the next question will come this is the question which we discussed in the introduction video that is the number of chocolates left over uh, that question so the uh, two input parameters are number of chocolates bought on a particular day and the number of chocolates eaten by the child on that particular day okay so we have to find out how many chocolates will be left out and read the input format very very important okay you have to do, do this now i can if you want to pass the test there is a save button to save the content okay and if you want to pass the test you can pass it by clicking this and you can restart the test also if you re, uh, pass the test and restart then only you will see that your timer is not running see here is the timer which is uh, going on if you are not passing the test if you are just keeping it alive and moving somewhere else or if you directly close the uh, window uh, close the browser there is a high chance that you will lose the entire test so you should be very very careful when you are doing this when you want to switch between the questions you can use the uh, box here okay you can as i told the code will be freezed actually we have solved this problem successfully this number of passengers in the elevator right so you can see that i cannot modify this code after i finish the execution i cannot modify it and also a uh, text will be displayed that your code has passed the execution right but it will be still in the list of the questions this is because if you want to make some changes in the input output or something then you can make those changes and after you feel convinced okay i have done this then you can click this submit code once you submit the code then you will see that that question completely goes off from the list of questions for the test okay so only one question is available then as usual you can choose now i will show if i am not choosing the language what will happen so here i will say number of chocolates bought okay number of chocolates bought i can show say i am not chosen the language so you see that input is actually keyword the color does not change so if there is no response in the editor uh, you check once when you are typing you be careful and check once whether uh, there is a responsive thing happening in the editor otherwise you can go and change check and you can modify here see as soon as i choose python you can see that the color of the keywords gets changed similarly there is option to increase the font size and also you can choose uh, different themes if you want and about saving the code you can use the save button for Uh, saving and apart from that the portal uh, auto saves the contents for every 2 minutes okay for every 2 minutes automatically a save will be done but for uh, safety purpose we recommend you to 
uh, click the save button frequently ok. So, uh, vPripple does auto save that is for every 2 minutes, but internet connection should be stable. Uh, anyway, you can click the save button and also you can uh, make sure that it is happening right. So, uh, now we will go back to the home page, pass the test. Still my assessment is not visible, why it is not visible is it is not opened by the faculty. Now I will go and open in the faculty login and come back and show you.